Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. Three News Senior Meteorologist Matt Wintz with a look at your forecast. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us here on our YouTube channel. Had the downpours around this morning. That was a warm front that's moving through, and you're feeling that warm front now. Clouds will give way to some sunshine. We've got a stout south wind outside, and that is going to warm our temperatures up way into the 70s. This is so hard to do this time of year. But here we are doing it. All right, tonight, look at this. 10 o'clock, still 70 degrees outside. If you have dinner plants, you might want to make them outside. I know it gets dark early, but uh, either way, spend a little time outdoors because it's going to feel like summer here this evening. We're only dropping back in the 60s tonight. That will be a nice springboard for our temperatures tomorrow with a mix of sunshine and high cloudiness. Once again, we're pushing 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon. We will stay dry. A lot of leaves falling off our trees. That's what happens after peak, right? And as a result, you probably want to get the leaf blower out. Well, I would probably not over the next couple days. And the reason why is that wind is going to be blowing around like crazy. We're going to stay on the windy side of things, not just today, but tomorrow and Thursday as well. The wind will be out of the south or southwest. So that means if you are going to put the leaf somewhere, the northeast quadrant of your lawn is the best place to do that. I mentioned the warmth. We're going to be closing in on records this afternoon. Wednesday, I think we come really close, if not beat it. Thursday is going to be hard to do. 82 is tough to do this time of year, uh, especially with rain moving in, as we'll have. We'll see what happens. Warm next three days, and then we cool back off to more seasonable levels. Keep in mind, our average is 58 or 59, depending on where you are in the viewing area. We are nowhere close to that the next three days. This is above par. All right, long range of forecast. Let's time that rain in here from the west on Halloween. You can see our model saying three o'clock now. We've got rain moving into western Ohio. There'll probably be some thunder with this as well, and, and also some gusty winds where that uh, line of downpour sets up. Uh, there'll be some wind energy with this as well. That moves in. This is six, nine o'clock as we get into trick or treat time. I know time Timing is not good and then it's out of here. High pressure builds in for your Friday and Saturday cooler but drier and then next week this high moves out towards the east. We open up the Gulf once again. We bring a few storm systems into that. So watch these waves of rain that move in here. Late Sunday is the first wave. Monday we'll have another one into Tuesday. Everything as of right now for Election Day looks to hold just off towards the north, but there will be some showers around. So I'm going to put showers in the forecast for now. And then you can see kind of rain sticking around next week. It'll be uh, in doses, but we've got a lot of it coming, especially west of here. I mean, that's where the bulk of this is going to be. That's where the train tracks are going to be. But we'll be right on the edge of it. So some periodic hits of rain. And in terms of snow, a lot of people wondering where's, this, I mean, typically we have a cold hit of air by now. Where's the cold? Where's the snow? It's in the western U.S. They are just getting blanketed in heavy snow. Sierra Nevada's Cascades down towards the Rockies. They've had all sorts of snow uh, so far, an early ski season for them. Union Home Mortgage 10-day forecast. Yes, we're bringing you a 10-day forecast now. We've got 53 degrees for Friday, cooler on Saturday as well. Sunday that rain moves in and you can see the warm up that goes into the next storm system next week. Does look rainy right now, but the Tuesday for Election Day, I think that rain may hold off towards the north. We'll keep an eye on it, but either way, temperatures, they're pretty locked in. It's going to be on the warmer side next week. All right, we've got your next update on the TV side of things coming your way at 4 o'clock. Enjoy your Tuesday, everybody. We'll see you then.